Uh, hello everyone and uh, welcome. So in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, put some form inside DLL and later on use it in some application. Uh, so uh, let's create VCL forms application. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to save everything. Save as uh, inside this folder. I'm going to create a uh, app folder open and save everything inside project one okay so here it is All right uh, i'm going to set some options that my final output directory is uh, dot meaning uh, exa will be created inside this folder here and i'm going to set a link with a dynamic rtl and runtime packages to uh, false this is uh, well this is not really uh, necessary it's uh, pretty much optional but uh, i like to do it uh, always when creating some new uh, application okay so i'm going to save everything around the application to see uh, if it works okay uh, let's see if uh, our exit is here okay so we created uh, some application and its executable file is here so uh, let's open view project manager and uh, i'm going to add a new uh, uh, project here and it's going to be a dynamic link library project uh, it's important to have visual component library in here selected okay and uh, what i have here is a dll project uh, i will put him uh, in front of uh, this uh, exit project meaning when I compile everything uh, DLL will be compiled first then the application second uh, I'm going to say options uh, to do pretty much the same thing as I did for the uh, application final output directory is uh, well I can say that my final output directory is pretty much uh, okay let's say uh, dot it really doesn't matter I can specify uh, output directory as uh, a location of this exe file uh, link with dynamic RTL and uh, runtime packages I will going to exclude okay save uh, so I'm going to save it inside DLL folder my DLL copy file one project two and what I'm going to name it is uh, my DLL okay so I have a project group as well uh, okay save it here it doesn't matter build and voila so pretty much I have application that does nothing I have a DLL that pretty much does nothing so what I'm going to do I'm going to add a form inside this DLL new uh, VCL form okay so this is some form here and I can for example set uh, edit component here uh, add a button uh, pretty much that says okay or something like that okay text nothing and I'm going to name it uh, my DLL form uh, and it should position screen center okay uh, where do I want to save it uh, DLL form okay so this is a, a form that is now inside my DLL project uh, as you can see I have a CPP file here and uh, I have CPP, uh, DFM uh, and uh, header file. If I open the header file I need to specify that uh, this class is exportable. Uh, this is one of the solutions so let me just say simply package. Okay so this is one way to do it simply specify package here and this entire class is going to be exportable. I'm going to name that class somehow 
f um, dll form okay so that's going to be the name of the form dll form and uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to save everything uh, clean and build okay once I've done that I'm going to uh, in my application and here and what I'm going to uh, show you is for example static DLL linking you have both static and runtime uh, DLL linking in one of my other videos so uh, check it out uh, as well so I'm going to copy this uh, library and uh, this library file and this DLL file uh, inside application folder and place it here okay so uh, uh, first file this uh, this file is uh, needed when compiling uh, when compiling my exe uh, and the second file will be always needed when this uh, exe is running so uh, in this project one i'm going to do a static dll linking meaning i'm going to add to my project uh, the library of the dll okay so uh, this is the first step in static DLL linking so I'm adding a library okay and now once I've done that uh, I need a header file as well so I'm going to use that so uh, I need DLL uh, form.h meaning the header file why because in this header file uh, I have uh, class declaration and that's what my application needs as well so I'm going to copy it app and paste it here and what I will do now I will close this DL form and close here this is the unit one of my application okay and uh, I can open a project one CPP that is the main file of my uh, application and I'm going to say include uh, what is the name of the file dll4 dot h okay so uh, that is the first step uh, with this I can access the form that is inside dll how first uh, let me uh, show you what exists inside this header file well uh, there is this declaration here okay so I'm going to use this declaration to create a form inside my uh, application how I will copy paste this here and I'm going to say this is the uh, DLL form okay uh, I'm going to use this class and uh, this, this form okay in order for this class to be visible and this object to be visible I needed to include this here uh, let me uh, just run the application okay as expected now I'm going to uh, go in my unit one this is uh, unit one for my application and set the button here and this button will actually call my uh, DLL form so uh, what is the name of my DLL form F DLL form copy and I'm going to say simply um, show model uh, in this unit here unit 1 CPP I also need to include this header DLL form header okay now run it okay so this is the application and as you can see I have my DLL uh, form inside this application okay so uh, again okay so this works uh, pretty much what I can do here is uh, let's say uh, show model and then uh, show message uh, FDL form edit one so uh, this is the benefit of this approach you can pretty much access any component that is on that form uh, no matter if that form is on DLL or uh, not so text okay run 
test. Just close it. Okay, as you can see, uh, once uh, this DLL form closed, I've accessed the edit one text and it was test. So uh, that's how it's done. So uh, how to do it? That is, uh, like I said, this is one of the options is when you create a DLL, you add a new form. This new form will have some interface, uh, meaning visual design like here. It will have its CPP and header file. Inside the header file, you declare that this class A has a package uh, declaration, meaning that is exportable. And that's pretty much it. Uh, then in your application, you can open uh, the main project file, add uh, this uh, DLL header, uh, include add to project, uh, this uh, DLL's uh, library file, and uh, create DLL form. Okay. Uh, there is also a possibility when clicking a button that you can uh, dynamically uh, allocate a new form, uh, meaning dynamically allocate uh, an object of this type uh, as well. Uh, the other solution is uh, what I see most often is pretty much that you have uh, inside this DLL, for example, file one, uh, that you put something like uh, like this. Uh, wait. Show uh, DLL form. For example, I have some uh, exportable function that will pretty much uh, show the form, but I need to include its header in here. Okay, and what I will say uh, is for the form pointer x, for example, Okay, so that is the second option that you create some exportable function that will dynamically alloc allocate the form inside DLL itself, uh, show it, and after uh, it's done, then delete the object itself. Uh, I'm going to recompile that, clean, build. Okay, and uh, I'm going to copy the uh, library file and DLL file again to my application. This can all be skipped if you uh, set the output directory uh, correctly. Uh, copy and replace, copy and replace. Okay, so back to my application. Opening the unit. So this is the way, uh, this is the first way we did it. Now we are going to show the second way. So clicking this button, I will uh, simply say, okay, so what is the prototype of this function? I'm going to copy it, put it, for example, here, DLL export, DLL import, okay. And I will simply say, show DLL form. So this is the first way. This is the second way. So what is the difference between the first way and the second way? Well, uh, I prefer the first way uh, because uh, I always have the access to any component on the form, while in this second approach, uh, this uh, show DLL form uh, function uh, pretty much does all the work. Uh, it uh, shows the dialog, but I cannot access directly any uh, component on the form. So it's pretty much up to you to choose what do you uh, prefer. But uh, like I said, in both cases, form is inside DLL and you can use it. Uh, just to make sure uh, that I'm telling the truth, I'm going to uh, rename this to my DLL tool. And if I run the application, cannot start because my DLL is missing. Pretty much, like I said, it is needed all the way because of uh, static DLL linking. 
so uh, guys uh, that's pretty much it uh, that is the way uh, you can put uh, form inside DLL and later on use it in your application when would you do it uh, well I use it pretty much when I have a uh, pretty large projects okay so uh, recently I was working on a project that had pretty much about 70 forms okay so uh, uh, it's uh, compile time it's pretty uh, big and uh, to simply uh, reduce the compile time I've uh, broken this project uh, into several DLL files and uh, it's pretty easier to maintain and uh, uh, to upgrade later on okay guys uh, that's pretty much it if you have any questions like always post it in your comments thank you for watching and see you later